This is WYMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. Former Kentucky Wildcat Carl Anthony Towns is expected to win the NBA Rookie of the Year award tomorrow. The Minnesota Timberwolves averaged a double-double this season in his first year in the NBA. 18 points, 10 rebounds per game. The T-Wolves will hold a news conference tomorrow at noon. And by all means, it's because this guy right here and the announcement of the award, if he were to win, by the way, he would become the first UK player to win Rookie of the Year. Well, the softball Cats know where they're headed for the NCAA tournament. And they aren't going far. The selection show tonight on ESPNU reveals the Cats will get to stay at home for the Lexington Regional. Kentucky is a nine seed and will play Friday against Butler. Illinois and Utah also in the Lexington Regional. All games are at John Crop Stadium. This is Kentucky's seventh straight NCAA appearance and the time is to be determined. Game seven of the Eastern Conference semifinals heat at Raptors in the last three postseasons. The home team has won game seven. Eight out of nine times. That one time was when the Raptors lost to the Nets back in 2013. Uh, the Raptors walking in the heat to the six. Not a Drake lyric. That's just my writing. Second quarter heat down seven. Dwayne Wade has your three ball. Well, it's real good. He had 16 points, four rebounds, three assists. Ensuing possession. Kyle Lowry says anything you can do, I can do too. 16 first half points for Lowry, and it continued in the second half. Third quarter, Lowry. Buckets. Toronto up 11. Jurassic Park rocking and they kept rocking. Fourth quarter. Lowry, he was doing it, doing it, and doing it well. He had 35. First player in Raptors history with back to back 35 point playoff games. Raptors, they win 116 to 84 and take the series. Well, a play at the plate is one of the more exciting plays in all of baseball. Last night, a Eugenio Suarez went for it all, plowing into Phillies catcher Cameron Rupp. Now, usually when you do that as a base runner, you're hoping the ball pops out. Well, it didn't, and Suarez was out ending the game in Philly. Today, Suarez, he made another big blow at the plate. The Reds trying to avoid the three-game sweep against the Phillies. Top second, Adam Duvall. He continued to knock it into left field today. He had two hits to left last night. Uh, there one right there puts the Reds up one to nothing. The scoring continues when Tucker Barnhart singles through the left side, and it's two nothing Reds. And this is where a Eugenio Suarez does his thing. Top fourth. That ball's in the bush. The Reds go up seven to nothing on that three run shot, and then in the ninth, bases loaded, two outs. Zach Cozart he singles the left center. Add two more runs to the scoreboard. Cincinnati avoids getting swept in Philly. Nine to four, the final. All right, most awesome piece of video of the day goes to Rudned Odor and Jose Bautista. Joey Bats ends up on the wrong end of this one, though. Justin Smokes hits a grounded to third. Andre Beltre throws the second for the out, but Odor, he goes for the double play. Didn't like how Bautista slid into him, so that starts this, this big scuff one. Well, here we go. Uh, UFC 198 was last night. 199 happened today in Texas. The Rangers win the game. The Rangers win the fight. Final score was 7-6, to six, by the way. All right, vroom, vroom. Let's go race in NASCAR and Dover. It's the drive for autism. 458 laps to go. It's smoke. Tony Stewart. He would finish 34th on the restart. Jimmy Johnson, he can't get that thing into third gear, and that causes a massive pileup. And that's what we call the big one in, in racing right there. 18 cars involved. We'll take another look here. This is how Kevin Harvick uh, saw it from his front end. Oh, boy. Just a mess. Final lap, Matt Kenseth, Kyle Larson, who's going to be? It's going to be Kenseth. He gets his first win of the year, and that locks him into the chase for the Sprint Cup playoffs. The final day of the Players' Championship at TPC Sawgrass today. Jason Day had led wire-to-wire -wire in the first three days. There have been four outright wire-to-wire -wire wins on the PGA Tour since the start of last season, and Jason Day had three of them. The third-round leader going for his fourth. He was trying to give some shots, though, back here at the ninth. His third to the par five. He comes up short of the green. And, you know, when you do this, when you're out of the golf course, you get so frustrated that, you know, the next shot's not going to be any good either. He chunks that one. He, he went on to bogey and fall to 1,200, but it's all good because this right here, he taps it in at the 18th. 
and he wins the Players' Championship. Becomes the fifth player since 1980 to win 10 or more times on the PGA Tour before his 29th birthday. Congrats to Jason Day. That's sports. We'll be back.